those who were on the journey, like the early disciples after Jesus' resurrection. Their journeys were different. Some were jumping with gladness, others walking in confusion, and some maybe just sitting still. We look around at the world and we know that it is ever changing. We hear good news and we hear troubling news. And we're not sure what to do in the midst of it all. We ask your Holy Spirit to be with each one of us in our lives. That you would help us to make the right decisions and good decisions for our lives and for our communities. We thank you for all those who are reaching out to those in need, for, the, in the, for those in need at this time. For the agencies that are stepping up, for the many health care workers and first responders and those who are out there on the front lines who are ministering to those who are sick. We pray for those who are alone. We pray for those who are grieving the loss of loved ones. We pray for those who are unable to see those that they care about, for those that are struggling financially. We pray for our children and youth as they are learning in a new way. Help them in this process. But God, we know that you have called all of us to learn. In this experience, we learn patience, where we learn that we need patience. We learn about your love, God, and we also learn about despair. Meet each one where they are in their own needs. You know our hearts. You know what is upon them. Help us to see you and to know you in our hearts through the risen Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we pray now as he has taught us. Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We are now going to share our anthem as bread that is broken. So you know that 
that roller coaster had a lot of hype going with it, and a lot of expectations to live up to for those who wrote it. So we stood there looking at it, and I just thought it was absolutely awesome, and I could not wait to ride this roller coaster. Well, my friend, Tracy, looked at it and didn't share my same sentiments. But not wanting me to ride it and look as if he was maybe scared or something, he agreed to ride it with me. So we're on the roller coaster and he goes, Something like that. I'll tell you what, it was all that and a bag of chips. It met my every expectation. It was a great roller coaster. And I must say, yes, Tracy got me back for having taken him on it. He didn't, it was not his favorite, I might add. And yet, then there have been other times in my life. Like, I've gone to a movie and found myself walking out of the movie theater saying, well, that wasn't what I expected. Today, as we continue our sermon series, Experiencing the Risen Christ, we will experience Christ through the broken bread. The followers of Jesus were walking together on the road to Emmaus. They were following the guidelines of social distancing, and some of them were even wearing masks. They were talking about their shattered expectations. So I invite Jesus' disciple followers uh, to come up and share with us the story in Luke 24, 13 through 35. because they 
they had their hopes up that he was the one. And now, it seemed like he was dead. Or maybe not. They didn't know what to expect, except, or what to believe, except that things had not happened uh, as they expected them to happen. Sounds a little bit familiar, maybe? We can relate to Cleopas and the other follower. The last pandemic was in 1918. And the, it was when the influenza epidemic swept through the world and killed an estimated 50 million people within months. I don't think that many, if any, ever expected another pandemic. Certainly not in 2020, and certainly not in our lifetime. This isn't what we expected in 2020. Cleopas and his friend were mourning Jesus' death. They were mourning unmet expectations, and they were confused, and they weren't sure what to believe. Today, people are mourning and grieving unmet hopes and expectations. Maybe you are. We weren't expecting to be out of work or struggling with our businesses. We weren't expecting not to be able to pay our bills or to maybe even lose our house. We weren't expecting to have a stay-at-home invitation till April 30th, which is now May 8th or 9th. We were hoping that things would be back to normal soon. And we were looking forward to baseball and graduations. Hopes and expectations. Cleopas and his companion had their hopes up. They were so disappointed and angry and sad that they didn't even recognize when Jesus was walking there beside them. And no, it wasn't because of the mask. Have you ever been so upset that you didn't see something right in front of you? You know, when we get in that little bit of a funk, that we just kind of walk around in a daze and don't notice the things going on around us? We miss, we kind of get into this, uh, all we can see is the negative. And we miss the good things, those God moments that are right, right there in front of us, right before our very eyes. I think about a time when I was in seminary just a few plus years ago. Um, I was working at a fast food restaurant because, well, I was in seminary and I needed money, so that's the job I found. And one night, it was so busy, I was at the, I was taking orders at the cash register. And it was just crazy, and I was like, ah. And the next day, a friend of mine at seminary, he said, he said, we saw you last night, and you wouldn't even talk to us. I said, where? He said, we're at Wendy's. We placed an order. And you just kind of blew us off. I had no idea that they even came to my register, to, like, and I took their order. It was just so busy and crazy. It's hard to believe I missed them, but I did. It, it happened to Cleopas and his friend. It happens to all of us. Well, we're going to see what happens in this story. So I invite um, Cleopas and his friend to come on back up, and we'll see what happens. So, I don't understand. Why can't you understand? Why can't you simply believe all that the prophets said? Don't you see that these things had to happen? That the Messiah had to suffer and only then enter into his glory? Jesus then explained everything written about himself in the scriptures, beginning with the law of Moses and the books of the prophets. When the two of them came near the village where they were going, Jesus seemed to be going farther. Up 
stay, stay with us. It's, it's already late, and the sun is going down. Oh, okay. So Jesus went in with them, and here is what happened. He sat down at the table with them. Taking the bread, he blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. At that moment, open-eyed, wide-eyed, they recognized him, and then he disappeared. Wasn't it like a fire burning in us when, we talk, when he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? They got up at once and went back to Jerusalem, where they found the eleven disciples gathered together with the others and saying, the Lord is risen indeed. He has appeared to Simon. The two then explained to them what had happened on the road and how they had recognized the Lord when he broke the bread. Jesus is
a nearby pizza shop, and he sat down on the ground with her to eat lunch. And as they talked, he said, um, you came to realize quickly that the pizza was great, but the conversation was even better. For 45 minutes, Officer Rivers shared with that homeless woman who he came to know as Michelle. They shared their stories together in that time. Officer Rivers shared, I come to work each day, and my method is, who can I bless today? Who can I make smile? Jesus took bread, and he broke it. And the followers knew immediately that the stranger was Jesus Christ. What an experience to break bread with Jesus. So this week, I'd like to encourage you in the midst of your lives to take a few moments to break bread or a cookie or something good that you like to eat. And as you break it, close your eyes and imagine seeing the risen Christ in front of you. This is more than just good bread. It is sustenance for our body and for our soul. And we need sustenance at this time in our lives. Receive the blessing of the good news of the resurrection. Jesus is alive and is with us on our journey. We are not alone. We are somebody. We are loved. And folks, that's good news. Amen.